everybody and welcome to the first video for this academic year and we thought we'd start with grade 6 because a lot of you will know we have a brand new curriculum in grade 6. There's lots of aspects to that curriculum but one, one thing they're doing that's new is, uh, is something on robots and coding. And we have Mr Luigi here who's the head of maths and he's just going to tell us a little bit about what they're doing around maths and COVID coding and we even have a robot with us that I'm going to try and use and find out all about and I know very little about it so I'm a complete novice when it comes to this and Mr Luigi is going to explain to us. Yes, so yes as part of the new grade 6 curriculum uh, we have decided to introduce coding and um, in the last few months we've been looking around to see different alternatives uh, to make it relevant and, and not just an abstract tool uh, to achieve a goal but rather something that was also tangible and that could well students could have fun and enjoy still retaining the sort of rigor of coding and we come across these little robots called Sphero uh, they are packed with sensors and they are really, really very interesting, cool uh, objects uh, because they basically can be programmed in uh, at least three different ways, not including what uh, Mr. Parker is doing, which is just um, commanding it and moving it uh, using uh, an so iPad. So I have an iPad here. Yes. And the so robot's here and I'm, first of all, I'm going to just start moving it around. You can see I'm moving it. Now, I can actually increase the speed, can't I? Yeah. So it's suddenly going to go a lot faster and I'm going to lose control. Wow. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere over there. And that is actually the first experience that our students had with the robots. So the, the idea was for them to start playing with it without really knowing well how to control it, just to have fun and see the functionalities. Then so just, I'm just going to get the robot yeah. because it's so what, sped over there somewhere. We've done already one, one session last Monday where students have learned how to aim it, so basically how to basically point in a certain direction and how to start programming it using the easiest of the tools, which is a sort of a canvas. Uh, this is one of the three ways to do it. Uh, the way to aim it is this. Now, if it goes that way, then you can, oh. yeah. Now you can, yes. And, um, and again, it can be programmed in three different ways. One is with the canvas. A second one is using Scratch, pretty much uh, like uh, what what is done without robots, so it's a scratch type programming, but there's a third level which is based on Java. We have um, got a course uh, from the uh, producers of Sphero, which we'll go through in, uh, in, grade, in grade six throughout the year. Um, the first two, three sessions will be again on the easy programming without block coding, but already in October, students will start using blocks like they would do for scratch. And, um, and the activities are very much related to the STEM program, which is in line with our uh, course this year. So there will be activities related to more nature-related, science-related ones, more engineering numbers, but there will be also some related to art. And the idea will be for students to really enjoy and master it and then create their own activities, their own projects with, uh, with Sphero. Um, Kids have been really, the students have been really very excited about that and they can't wait to, uh, to look at that. And it is a very interesting experience for us teachers as well because we realize what it really means, I mean, to, to live in a digital age and have students who really master it very, very quickly and understand how it goes. So everyone, just quick, I'm just going to, you may be able to see this, but I can change the color on the top. So that's yellowy, bluey, going into pink, and then Yeah, reds. the more you go to the external, the, the stronger the color. So oh, I see, so you can make stronger, yeah. lighter colors. Yeah. There's a very strong blue there. Yeah, and by the way, what the students will also learn is how those colors are created. So as part of the math course, we're going to look at binary numbers 
and how colors are created by composing uh, blue, green, and red, and how that is done, for instance, on, on Sphero. So um, we are very excited about the new curriculum, and in particular about coding, um, because we do believe that it's an essential skill that uh, students should have, and we hope that um, Sphero will help them uh, build those skills. So there you go, there's an introduction to uh, coding and our use of robots in our new grade six curriculum. Thank you very much everyone.